Nanny states are expanding their powers across Europe and trying to control our lives by limiting the freedom to drink a beer, eat a hamburger or enjoy an e-cigarette in many circumstances. The UK has been at the forefront of paternalistic lifestyle regulations for over a decade. It has some of the world's highest sin taxes on alcohol, tobacco and soft drinks, but now the rest of Europe is catching up. A nanny state with paternalistic politicians tries to control people's lives without their consent. They might claim to do this for the greater good, but ultimately their actions are illiberal and ineffective. Epicenter's nanny state index ranks 30 countries in Europe based on how much they overregulate the eating, drinking, vaping and smoking habits of their citizens. More paternalism doesn't lead to better health outcomes. Take a look at Germany and Luxembourg, two European countries with very liberal regulations and long life expectancy, and contrast them with the Baltics and their paternalistic regulations, combined with worse health outcomes. Paternalism means all the pain but none of the gain. Politicians here in the UK should look at their counterparts in Germany and Luxembourg and draw some inspiration from them. People in charge of their own life are happier and healthier. There is no need for bossy politicians to protect us from ourselves. Free-minded people should not rejoice that Britain dropped in the league table from the fourth most paternalistic European country to the twelfth. The UK is not getting more liberal, only the rest of Europe is becoming liberal faster. If you are interested in the full results, go to nannystateindex.org and help us build a less nannying Britain.